There's a bunch of stuff. Oh wow. In there. I'm going through all of the stuff now. Okay. So I'll I'll uh, I'll hook you up. Let's go. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. We are on a quest to build a video game collection, starting off with just a $10 build to prove that you can indeed still game hunt in today's time, and you can do it on a budget. It's been a little bit since our last episode, but guys, it's not because I'm not finding games out there, it's just because we've had a ton going on with the channel. I just got back from Retropalooza uh, in Dallas, and I had a couple videos from that. We had the whole storage unit uh, series, and, and a ton of other things going on, but we are back with another episode of the $10 game collection. But guys, before we get into it, if you are new to the channel, and if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button. Every single Monday and Thursday, we're coming out with new retro nostalgic type videos, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into this week's episode. We are back with another update of the $10 game collection. Guys, if you are just now jumping into the series, this is it. This is the collection that we have built, starting off with just a $10 bill. It sounds crazy, but it has happened. It is wild. All of these NES games, Super Nintendo, uh, we got the little NES Mini up there, all of these uh, handhelds, a pretty sweet collection of handhelds, a couple game cubes. Our, our N64 collection is nice, y'all. All of the staples in there, a bunch of consoles, Sega Saturn, special edition Wii U, and then over here are all of our disc-based games in the collection. Wild, guys, $10. If you wanna go back and check out the entire series, I'll link it right up here. I think like 70, 70 episodes at this point, which is absolutely wild, but again, it is fun to just go back and see the whole journey, starting off with a $10 bill and then just going all the way uh, as we've built this crazy massive collection. Uh, I think last episode we left off with $380 in the game fund, so plenty of money to go out there and hunt. And then this was our pickup, our pickups from the last episode. All this stuff right here was a trade with a buddy of mine. We traded an, an N64 with some games and then we got all this stuff. So nothing crazy in regards to the PS4 stuff, but here is a little PS1 Classic, PS1 Mini. We have, I think, all of the mini consoles now except for the Genesis. And then we got this GBA SP, a little beat up, but it actually works great. And then this right here, he had this random Cybernator SNES game. Uh, very uncommon, I've never even seen that before. These two guys are fake, uh, little to no value there, but they, they actually still work, so they're still fun to play. And then this, this guy right here, Legacy of Goku 1 and 2, this was a sleeper for me, I had no idea. This is worth like 35, 40 bucks, so cool to get that. And then all of these games right here we got at Goodwill for two bucks each. Most notable is Mario Party 10 on the Wii U for $2, insane, but $380 in the game fund to go hunt. Let's go. Made a quick little stop into Goodwill. This is the Goodwill, I've said it a thousand times. Just has not been very much in terms of games at this Goodwill the past six plus months, just not a ton, but we do have some games right here. So all PS2 games, all unmarked, two bucks each. We got Thrillville, and these are in really good shape. This is complete, so basically like a roller coaster tycoon situation. Uh, let's see, play in the amusement park that you design. So Thrillville, $2, you know, why not? We'll get that, and then we got GTA 3. I always pick up any of the GTA games whenever I see them, because they resell decently well, or you can pair them you know, with another console or the PS2 and sell it quickly. These look so good. Like, looks like new. Over the Hedge, don't know if this is any good in terms of gameplay, but two bucks, can't beat that. Secret Weapons over Normandy. Uh, I don't think we have any of these games except for GTA 3 in uh, the $10 game collection, so we'll get that for $2. And then probably what I was most interested in is Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. 
We got Arnold on there. I have never played this. Didn't even know that this was a thing on the PS2, but all five of these for 10 bucks is not bad. I think they're all worth right around like seven to 10, seven to 10 each. So not insane, but not bad at all. So 10 bucks, we'll get these. Okay, I found a couple things I don't think we've talked about before uh, in the series. The first one is uh, DVD VCR combos. This blows people away sometimes. They're like, there's no way those are worth something. They are. Most of the time, like bare minimum, if you find a good DVD VCR, you know, VHS combo, even like not very good brands, they're gonna bring you like 30 to 40 bucks. Samsung, some of the better uh, quality brands bring even more. So this is $9.89 and it has the remote, which is amazing. I think this sells for like, around 50 or so maybe 60 to 70 on the high end but for 10 bucks even the remote by itself is worth that so we're gonna pick this up and then here is a polaroid so most of the polaroids sell pretty well now this is a job pro i've never seen this one before super yellowy and pretty rad looking i think this sells for around 30 ish 25 to 30 so gonna get this and this just to pick up not for the ten dollar game collection but did want to give you guys a heads up that there's money in some of these old um this old tech so pretty sweet to find all right guys i just got two packages in the mail from literally my favorite friggin site right now to get uh games and toys it, it's insane it's called whatnot i talked about it in a previous episode um but if you don't know what it is basically think if twitch and ebay had a baby Yes, a little weird, but it is that is exactly what it is. Uh, live auctions with like the community relationship aspect, uh, social media, really, really cool. But I'm going to show you exactly why I love this site. So I got this game for $1, $1, uh, $4.50 shipping, 51 cents in tax, $6.01. And I got this game. Now you're probably thinking, why in the world would you get this? Uh, this is Gallup Racer 2004, and it is in great shape and complete with the manual. I do not want this for the $10 game collection, but this sells anywhere from like 20 to 24, 25 bucks complete. So I got that with shipping and everything for 601. After I sell that, you know, we'll net about 15 to 16 bucks, meaning this is completely free. What I got in this uh, package. $14.73 after shipping and tax and check this out. This is a cool piece guys. This is Rugrats Studio Tour. Uh, love me some Rugrats. Love me some 90s nostalgia and this was $14.73 and it's sealed. This is sealed. It goes for about $12 to $14 complete. So um, after I sell this, I'll be able to keep this for the $10 game collection for free. What not? is freaking insane guys oh also uh if you use my referral link down below you get 10 bucks you get 10 dollars for free to spend on the app it doesn't cost anything to be on the platform it's free to be on it and then you get a 10 dollar credit like there's no reason there's no reason to not check it out so go over there and check out whatnot there's no strings attached with the the 10 dollars. you can spend it however you want so go check it out but we get to keep rugrats for free after we sell gallop racer 2004 let's go All right, guys, I'm going to start off by saying I don't think I've ever had a deal quite like this before. So I'll give you the short story of it. Um, basically, there is a lot, a big bundle of Nintendo powers on Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks. Now, I love Nintendo powers so much. I never see them in my area. The only time I've ever really picked them up is like at conventions and stuff like that. Nintendo powers, basically magazines with tips and tricks on, you know, the games from back in the day. Uh, Super Nintendo, NES, even up to like GameCube and stuff like that. And um, yeah, and then, you know, news about new games and things like that. Really, really cool magazine. Never see them. Well, here is a bundle of like, I think 40 of them for 30 bucks. So I'm just going to get these for my personal collection. And then I do what I always tell you guys to do. And that is to ask. I ask if he has any other games. And he's like, yeah, we're actually moving. And I'll look around to see if we have anything else. I'm like, awesome. I'm not really expecting much. 
uh, I go out to the house and uh, you're gonna see all these clips. I'm explaining a little bit more than I usually do because there, there's definitely a reason for that. Um, after I get done getting the, the games that he does find, he finds a little bit, and the magazines, uh, I stop filming. And at that point, I don't typically do this, but we kind of like, we're having a, a good conversation. Uh, I never do this, but I actually told him, yeah, I actually have a YouTube channel where I, I hunt for this stuff and I collect this stuff. I don't always do that because I just don't. I don't know if it's, if it's super wise to tell everybody that you're filming and that you, you know, you collect and then you buy and sell. I don't know if that's the smartest thing to always do. But in this case, I was like, this guy seems cool. I'm gonna let him know what I'm doing. So I tell him that I've actually been filming and he's like, get out of town. Like, you were filming that? He's like, why? I collect this stuff. And I think he literally said, you collect this junk? I was like, yeah, dude, I love this stuff. So we start talking and he's like, well, I am moving. We're moving out of this house and I know I have more of this stuff. Like I have kids your age and we we play video games. Like we loved video games, uh, you know, as they were kids and in VHS and all that stuff. And he's like, what if I, you know, as I go through the attic, I'll get stuff together and then I'll let you know if I have any more. I'm like, it's perfect. So, you know, and then he cleans out the closets. He, he's gonna do the same thing. So he does this. I think I end up going back to this house at least five times. I have four of them on, uh, uh, four of them filmed. One one time I was like driving away, like I was a minute from his house. He's like, hey, actually come back. I just found another bag full of stuff. So I don't think I filmed that one. Um, but instead of like talking be before each one, like I usually do, I was like, I'm just gonna put them all back to back to back to back. So you can see all these pickups. But um, a, lot of, a lot of these times too, since they were moving, they're like porch pickups. He's just said, he just said, hey, I'm gonna put this stuff out in the front or the garage and you just put money under under the uh, under the doormat so kind of a weird a little bit of a sketchy situation but um really cool guy and we end up getting a ton of stuff i've not went through any of the stuff yet and we're going to go through it all together but check out all of these pickups hey thanks for coming i'm, I'm craig Rick. hey Rick. nice to meet you nice man to meet you. Come nice on to meet you. do you uh find anything else you said i got a few things that i'm going through i got a sack of stuff i don't are you a gamer yeah i collect even that stuff right there i collect all that stuff Stuff is this stuff? Is this stuff that you're looking to? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I let it all go. Okay, cool. There's a bunch of stuff. Oh in wow. There. Okay, yeah. Just the kids' stuff. Yeah, I think I don't. I don't. That's my son's stuff that he had laying around. So yeah, yeah. just a bunch of stuff. What do you want for the extra stuff? Man, how about just fifty bucks for everything? Thank you for everything. Okay. You want to look through it? I definitely, I definitely want the magazines. Oh, those are cool, aren't they? Oh yeah, I love, I love those. I collect, I collect all this stuff. I don't know how interested I am in those. Is there anything in there? There's a system uh, down there, I think. Is there? There is a weed down there. I think so. Oh yeah, there's a Wii U. There's a Wii U. Yeah, there's a Wii U. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff down there. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you fifty for everything. Okay. That's good. If I come across anything else. I'm going through all of this stuff now. Okay. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll hook you up. All right, this is truly a straight up money under the doormat situation. Like they've moved out, apparently. At least my garage isn't this clean. He said there's extra stuff. We got turtles. Green Ranger, Power Rangers, Magazine. Yeah, this is way more stuff than he, uh, he told me about, so. 20 bucks for all of it. Under the mat, hopefully nobody sees me doing this. Let's go. We're back, more stuff. I see infinity, I see a U-draw. So definitely not the stuff I need or love, but Pokemon, VHS, more VHS. Awesome, let's go. We're back again for, I think, our fourth or fifth time at this point. I don't know if somebody else is making a deal over there, but uh, he said front door. So I don't think any of those, those clothes are mine. Yeah, here it is. So don't even know what this is, but a ton of stuff. I'm not gonna go through it right now. I'm gonna go through it with you guys. 20 bucks, there's a big doll. Uh, there's definitely gonna be things in here that I don't want or need but i mean 20 bucks can't beat it so here it is again i'm assuming this is going to be our last deal <laughs> at this point 
All right, so I'm fairly certain this is the last stop. Same person, but uh, they finally moved. So this is, I guess, their new house. He said, pick up the box of stuff at the front door again. I'm guessing that the Amazon Prime box. Leave 60 under the doormat. Did that. Let's make sure we got we fit board. Super interesting. Right? And then check it out, guys. Check it out. Let's freaking go. Look at all the stuff. More Nintendo powers. 10 games. In other stuff. We'll go through it back at the house. Let's go. Okay, guys. So much to friggin' go through. Oh my gosh. I think five or six times in total uh, going over to this guy's house and then to his new house. Uh, that very last time. Uh, I didn't film one of them because he was like, I, I already picked up some stuff and he was like, hey, come back, I found another bag. So I think ultimately it was five or six times. $150 into everything that you guys are going to see. I have not went through it yet uh, and there is a lot of work to do here, guys, so much. So there was the toy bin over there, uh, some VHS and a bunch more magazines. I think this was our first pickup and then that I believe was the last, if I can keep it all, if I can keep it all straight. So let me move this down here. Okay, we're gonna start with this stuff. So a lot of these, these are all cases. So, so the very first time I met him uh, and got the Nintendo powers and the couple of game, you know, extra games, he actually, uh, he messaged me on Facebook, like as I was uh, driving away and was like, how about cases, do you want cases? So I believe most of these are empty. And I was like, yeah, man, any, like literally any gaming items I want. So let's get all these out first. Hey, that one's in there. It's in there too. Ooh, this is gonna take some time, y'all. Here, let me get this bag down here. Okay, crate is empty. I'm gonna just throw everything that's in this bag onto the table. So let me move this stuff. Okay, goodness. So much to go through. Let's start over here, uh, looking at all these DS cases. Again, I'm fairly certain all of these are empty, but I did see a couple DS like cases around, like not these cases, but little cases for the actual console. Maybe, maybe those have the games. Um, guys, for the sake of time, this is going to take a long time to go through. So I'm going to go pretty quick through all this. And then maybe at the end, I'll kind of show you what all has what with it. But most of these are empty. See, so, you no, know, some of these have games. So I bet I bet some of these have games. But for the sake of time, I just want to show you kind of the highlights so far. So you got Lego Batman 2, Star Wars, Infinity, a couple more Wii games, hoping for some Mario games. Some decent titles in there. These are this is actually a really fun game. Professor Layton, Unwound Future. I think there's a couple of them. Really cool series. So here are these Nintendo Powers, and really cool that they're in these like little sleeves. I don't know if they like took really good care of their stuff, but you would think they would have had to if they had these in sleeves. But I mean, look at these guys. I'm not gonna go through every one of them, but Tetris Attack. Oh gosh, look at the, look at the old like ads. So Game Boy Advance era, oh my. Earthworm Jim 2. So rad guys. I have a huge Nintendo Power collection. Y'all tell me down below uh, how many Nintendo Powers there are. I don't even know what the full set is, but these are like, these are like, mid to late 90s it, it appears anything that's like n64 is going to be mid to late 90s gamecube obviously it's going to be like early 2000s mario party which mario party is this is it mario party 3 i always think it's mario party 3 but i i always forget too ah oh, these are so rad okay so a ton of nintendo powers let's put these over here and let's go through this big huge mess of things mario kart 7 uh batman 3 then you have a Wii manual for the actual console. There is Indiana Jones. Hopefully these games are either in there or they're in a case or something. Here is a, okay, here is a random PlayStation 1 game. 
baldies. Does anybody know anything about this? Looks almost like lemmings or something, potentially. Yeah, so never have played this or have even heard of this game before, but let's see if baldies is in there. Okay, we have one lone PS1 game. I don't know. Here is a Nerf Wii wheel. Uh, looks like a bunch of third-party Wii stuff. The bane of my existence. I don't, don't really care to mess with this stuff. Usually with third-party controllers and things, I like to bring them to like game exchange and just offload all this stuff and get, you know, maybe a dollar each for it, but then I don't have to deal with it. So here is a GameStop, a GameStop GameCube controller. Not, not really anything I'm interested in either. A bunch of these rock candy controllers, but over here, don't know if you see it, there is a Wii U and there's me. Hello. Uh, a Wii U and it looks to be in pretty decent shape and I see some chargers and stuff like that so we'll definitely uh, charge that up see if it works there's a Wii sensor and then we have an Xbox over here so an original Xbox this is one of the items that he threw in after I was basically telling him that I collect and stuff and he was like what about an old Xbox he doesn't have anything but that power supply he's like I don't know if it works or anything like that but you can just have it. I was like, sweet. Yeah, I actually don't have an Xbox in the $10 game collection. So now we have an Xbox. Hopefully that powers up and works. But this was the very first haul that we got for 50 bucks. It was 30 for the magazines. And then he was like, this is the, the extra stuff I found, like, you know, just random cases and stuff like that. He was like, what about 50? I actually was hesitant. I was like, I don't, I don't really know if I want empty cases in some third party controllers. But then I saw this, I saw this and was like, okay, that's, that's definitely worth a shot. You know, even if that's broken, maybe I can sell it for 10 or 15 bucks broken. But again, I kind of wanted to leave that, that relationship open uh, in terms of getting more stuff. So 50 for, for this stuff. Now let's dig into, it's probably, probably that box. So I'm going to clear all this stuff off and uh, we'll go with that one. All right, second batch of games, and this is uh, a bit more manageable for sure. So, this first little, this first little tote, you got some Burger King Kids Club Turtles VHS. Now, I know I don't have this one. I, I know at this point, guys. I just see a cover. I'm like, oh yeah, I've seen that one like four or five times. Invasion of the Turtle Snatchers. I, I don't have that one. Here is Hot Rotting Teenagers. I do have this one, and this one is a little. It's a little banged up, but that's okay. A couple more Pokemon VHS. Uh, I have quite a few Pokemon VHS at this point. I don't know how many there are in the complete set, but always cool to pick up those. So here is a battleship, a little battleship handheld uh, that was apparently at a Goodwill at some point. Don't know what I'll do with that. Some of these handhelds actually sell pretty decently. Here is, oh, sick. It's a Sony Walkman, man. Uh, some of these actually have some decent value. This has been loved pretty well, but we'll look that up at some point. Guys, I'm gonna have to go through all of this stuff, test it, and make sure all this stuff is working before I can even give you a true value also. Toy Story on VHS, classic, sweet. We needed this in case there is a uh, DS in here. Uh, and just in general, always good to have these, you know, 2DS, 3DS, DS little chargers hanging around uh and then here is an incredibles is it skylanders or infinity i always forget infinity disney infinity i am fairly certain those have like little to no value and then onimusha samurai's destiny okay just a random ps2 game let's move all this over okay let's dig through this stuff a bunch of magazines let's just let's do the same thing again let's get all this stuff out oh that feels that feels heavy that's a good sign right there. All right, I'm gonna pull all this stuff out. All right, I will say this. These kids had a great childhood. Thanks, Dad. There's a lot of different stuff in here, man, like all kinds of things. So we already went through all of this. Here are some plug and plays. Um, plug and plays actually can do pretty decent. I don't know about this Disney princess one. I don't, I've never seen these. These are some kind of Disney, maybe a trivia or something. <laughs> Here is a Disney Infinity sealed, never been opened. I doubt that's anything. Here is 
some Xbox One stuff, and it has the game in it. Okay, okay. We actually have found very little in terms of Xbox One stuff in the $10 game collection. You got ESPN Football, Unreal Championship. Hey, we're finding games. Here is Napoleon Dynamite on PSP UMD. Sweet. Guys, I know what I'm doing tonight. I'm watching Napoleon Dynamite on my PSP. Here is a Batman, the animated series figure. Why these are just unopened, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the kids lost interest. Here is a game Excalibur on the SNES. Have never seen this game before, meaning I bet it has at least a little bit of value. I'm actually interested. I'll, I'll throw some gameplay up of what that even looks like. Never seen that. Can't go wrong with some TMNT, the original movie. Oh, oh we're doubled in here, y'all. Okay, got the original movie, and then this is, is it two? Maybe it's two. I don't know why there would be two in there, but they both say TMNT. Here is a Tiger Woods Pro Shot Pro Shots. Is it just a figure? It looks like it's just a figure, which is cool because, hey, I like me some Tiger Woods. I like me some golf, and it seems like a pretty cool figure right there. We have a lone 8 megabyte PlayStation 2 memory card with Guitar Hero 2 on it. Check this out. Wario Blast. Such a random array of items in this, uh, in this box. Here is a baseball handheld uh tiger electronics 1991 i like all of the old tiger handhelds guys i don't i don't know why Ooh, what do we have here like so some people would think oh that sucks they're all loose i'm like no i'm excited it's like anything anything could be in here you got wcw nitro then you got gran turismo love love that series then we got uh, 1998 collector CD. So this looks like a demo with a bunch of different games on it. Come on, be something good. Like be a, be an RPG in here or something. Driver 2, doesn't look like there's gonna be. Red Dead Revolver on the PS2. Here is Resident Evil 4, neat. Jet Moto 2, love the Jet Moto series. Last game, Mortal Kombat 3. That's a good one, that's a good one. I think that's at least 20 bucks loose. Uh, okay, couple VHS, you got uh, the mini series part one. We actually are missing one or two of those, so we'll see if that's the one I'm, I'm missing to complete that series. NCAA 12, I don't think that has any value. Digimon uh, VHS, <sighs> one of the best games of all time. It's freaking Vice City. Guys, I remember when Vice City came out and me and my buddy Mike played it all day, every day. Like from our, you know, from Christmas to like the beginning of the school year. So it was like a good eight to 10 day span. I went over to his house every day and we just kept playing Vice City. Amazing. Uh, Zuma, don't care. Power Rangers, Lost Galaxy. Like I would have hung out with, the, with these kids every day of my life back in the day. Like they liked all of the same stuff that I like. We would have been pokey friends. That's bad. That's a bad joke. Mystery of Mount Moon and a couple more. That is heavy. Why is this so heavy? Ah, uh, see, I knew, I knew something was not right. Oh, this is Team NT3 recorded on a VHS. That's amazing. I knew that there was no way this was a, you know what, 30 minute little VHS of Power Rangers, or not Power Rangers, Turtles. And then we got one more Pokemon VHS. So the big thing is to see what's in this. It's heavy, y'all. It's really heavy, but probably not heavy enough to have the console in it. But let's see what we got. Oh yeah, lots of paperwork. I mean, that is a beefy book right there. And then some more paperwork. So, oh well, but now we have a box. We have a box for the red 3DS if we ever come across one. And it's in decent shape. I mean, definitely collectors worthy here is a couple magazines i don't know that one i've never seen that magazine xbox magazine another one uh yeah these are all xbox interesting that they're all like together maybe these were all in like one closet together and they just all got put in there at some point in the early 2000s and were forgotten about okay that was the second box now let's go to i want to go let's go here and then with the toys i'm just gonna like dump all those out and we'll see what's in there i i don't know if there's anything like too crazy i did see a bunch of power rangers and a mighty max at one point but let's do that last and we'll do this next box of games we'll do all the games together 
All right, let's dig into this stuff, our last box of games, unless there's a couple, you know, random games floating at the bottom of that bin, but we fit balance board, couldn't care less about that. Unfortunately, here is a Wii U. Uh, mark my words, guys, Wii U's are gonna go up in value here in the next year or so, I guarantee it. This is good because we have the Wii U pad. I was like, what is that called? <laughs> the Wii U pad. So that's cool to get this. I don't know if anything could be in here, maybe a SD card, but nope. So we have a lot of work to do, a lot of testing of consoles uh, for sure. Here is a, is this an Xbox One sensor or Kinect? I think that's what that is. I've never been an Xbox guy, guys, guys, guys. I know that's blasphemy, but I've never really been an Xbox guy. Always Nintendo first. And then if I ever played anything else, it was typically PlayStation. So there's that. Maybe, can I move this here? I don't want my, I don't want my table to fall. It kind of feels a little janky. Let's pull out this. So this is a PS3. Um, the thing about the PS3s you gotta look out for is this could potentially be backwards compatible. Meaning uh, the, the newer PlayStation 3s play PS1 and PS3 games, but the originals that, that are backwards compatible can play PS1, PS2, and PS3. I think there's a way you look like on the front of the PS3. I'm not 100% certain. You guys tell me down below, how do you figure it out? I know for sure you can just look at the serial number, not the serial number, the like uh, the model number. <laughs> God, golly y'all, it's late. Uh, the model number and it will tell you if it's a backwards compatible PS3. But if that's backwards compatible and it works, a couple hundred bucks right there. More stuff, let's just, I'm gonna grab a couple things. This is a huge freaking box here. I'm putting, I'm putting this down here. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. All right, so here we have a Nintendo Switch game sealed. G.I. Joe uh, Operation Blackout. I don't know, man. Your random Game Boy games, Wii U, and then you got a Switch game, brand new. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know why, but hey, I'm not complaining. Uh, empty case. Here is another little handheld Dominoes. I don't know. Oh, the nostalgia, the nostalgia blockbuster case, and Amped. Amped is in there. And then you got Madden. Oh, a Madden 11. And that is in there. So most of the games so far that have actually been in the cases are not anything worth talking about. So that's a bummer. That's okay. 150 bucks, guys. 150 all in. Y'all, y'all tell me down below. Would you have spent 150 bucks on all this stuff untested? You don't know if it's gonna work, and you actually don't even know what's all in there. I like it. It's exciting to me to kind of dig through all this stuff with you guys. Another Nintendo Power. Is that Donkey Kong 3? It is Donkey Kong 3. I, I don't know what this is. It's like a cheap Wii, but like a, a little cheap girly Wii. I don't know. Maybe it's actually for the Wii. Don't know. Here it looks like a broken headset, maybe. Ah, uh, let's dig. Let's dig. All right, got some more stuff up here. This is one of the items I saw in the picture that he sent over. He, he was sending me pictures every time he would find more stuff. And I was like, I don't even care if that's in it or not. I love the GBA SP and that box, y'all. That is a, uh, it's gonna be a beautiful piece up on the shelf. So empty, of course, don't feel like there's a, there's nothing even inside of it. But GBA SP box, you guys would be surprised that this actually has some value. So cool to get that. And then over here, again, some more cases. It looks like a lot of cases. Werewolves Within is in there. See, there's there's some games inside some of these cases, which is good. And then uh, some third party rock candy. They were a rock candy family, man. All right, what else is in here? I'm just gonna bend down here at this point and go through this last, last bit of items. Wreck-It Ralph, uh, NBA 2K16. Whoa, this is crazy. So I actually have this uh, and I don't have the manual. So cool to add that. Heck yeah, dude. We got Game Boy. Ooh, that's cool. So we get to add all this all this paperwork to that GBA SP over there. So we'll put that in there. And then, okay, so we have some Game Boy games. So let me open this up. Got it opened. And inside we got Rugrats, uh, Time Travelers, then Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and NBA Jam. Cool. A couple games there, and let's check this out. We got some games in here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh, 
doggies! Let's freaking go, dude! Pokemon Platinum? Okay, is this legit? Y'all tell me down below, how do you tell? It looks, it looks good. I don't even know how much this is going for now, but the Pokemon games have went insane, so that's cool. Then we got Pets Nursery. Okay, nothing else. Pokemon Platinum. Heck yes, let's go. So this is another tip guys on selling, buying and selling. Now this one is gonna be a little bit of a different case, but iPods, old school iPods sell really well. I don't know who is wanting them, but they actually sell really, really well. Come up with some more manuals, Wheel of Fortune, just the most random stuff. Every single controller I think has been third party. Like everyone, it, ugh, come on man. Uh, Power A, I think has some, like they, I don't know if, what kind of partnership they have with PlayStation and Xbox, but they actually have PlayStation. Whoa, that's crazy. It actually powered on. Um, they actually have some kind of deal, I guess, with them. So there's branding, but I, I mean, they're still third party. And then got some cases. I think there's stuff in there. Let me, let me open this up too. All right, got that opened. Yes, there are games in here. We got Super Spies, Dora. <laughs> Come on, man, we need some good games. We need some Pokemon games. Okay, sorry guys, I know my camera work is rough. Horse Adventures, come on, man. Shrek and Bratz. Okay, that couldn't have been more disappointing. That's okay, that's okay. And then we have a case right here. Let's see what's in this. Let's see if there's anything in this case. Guys, Pokemon, oh yes, so good. Okay, I, I feel nothing. I don't see anything in that. I, I will definitely go through all this stuff like with a fine tooth comb and make sure everything is uh, is checked. Make sure I didn't miss anything like this. I just missed this. Check it out. I can't remember which iPod this is. This is a shuffle, but I guarantee you this is probably worth like 20 bucks. So, okay. Now we got through all that stuff. A lot to do in terms of testing, but now uh, I'm going to dump all this stuff out and just kind of look at the cooler toys because there are definitely, there's like baby dolls and stuff in there. Definitely things I don't care about, but look, turtles, Power Rangers. So let me get this stuff all cleared out and then I'll dump all that on the floor and we'll go through the toys. So I'll be honest, there was a lot more in that bin than I thought there was. So let's just go through some of this stuff. I'm actually gonna sit, look at this, this is gonna be comfortable. I forget what this is called, like La Loopsie or something. I don't know. I don't didn't play with that. Y'all be easy on me. Naked, naked doll. Get, get out of here. Where are all these? I don't know. I don't care. I don't care about any of that stuff. And then we got a horse. My daughter is just a little too young to be playing with stuff yet, but maybe I'll hold on to it for at some point. You got a Woody doll in there. My son is obsessed with Legos, so I guess I guess he'll play with that maybe. A bunch of Power Rangers, got some Star Wars figures. I, I can definitely see there's gonna be some, some decent stuff in here. There's that guy. Look at these old Beanie Babies from McDonald's. See those all the time. Here's a little Jeep. And what else is in here? I don't know if you guys like this. I, I like to dig. Uh, I see a lot of channels where it's like, hey, here's my pickups. And they like, they lay it all out neatly and you know they talk about what they think about it i like to dig with you guys i like to find this stuff and like kind of go through it and get my initial reaction with you guys so here is a here's a button mcdonald's button is that mcdonald's it looks like mcdonald's yep there's that and then i'm, I'm afraid there's gonna be like bugs in here or something like that wolverine y'all look oh look some two cycle engine oil <laughs> it's like crazy stuff so there's quite a few turtles in here that I saw. There's another turtle, uh, another another Power Ranger. Here is a battery. You'll be surprised on batteries. These can be worth a little bit. If you get the right one, maybe that's worth something. I don't know. Uh, here is, oh, oh my, he's seen better days. Uh, I got some tools in here that got, oh, uh, maybe I need to return these keys to them. Uh, more turtles. Is that is that Randy Macho Man Savage? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember. We I think we paid twenty bucks for this box of toys. So there is uh, months of fun in here for both me and my and my, my my buddy, my son. Here is a Star Trek puzzle unopened. Whoa, that looks old. 1978. That's never been it's never been opened. More Power Rangers. More turtles. Spider Man. Here are some cards, don't know. Some more Legos. 
Whoa. Y'all. Dangerous. That's a dang uh, firework right there. Snakes and sparklers are the only ones I like. This is the most random lot of things I've ever gotten. Ever. Like, ever. iPods, fireworks, dolls, and games and toys. This is crazy. Oh, look what we got. Look what we got. Master Splinter. Whoa. He turned into something. I don't have that. More turtles. I just want to show you guys stuff that might be a little more interesting. All these Barbies. So many Barbies. I got a vacuum in here after this. Uh, here is Bullseye. I don't have Bullseye. My, my son will love that. A marker. I thought I saw a couple Mighty Maxes in here at one point. I know I did. Oh, there is a spider. <gasps> Look, guys. This is dangerous. Oh, huh, 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 huh. He's dead. You are a murderer! He did. Uh, this is so dangerous. Look at all these little pins in here. There it is. Okay. I was like, I know I saw Mighty Max in here someplace. I love Mighty Max so much. So cool. Uh, in general, I don't see anything that's like crazy. Again, I'll run through everything and make sure I'm not missing anything crazy. But uh, a lot of really cool figures. I mean, really cool figures. I don't, I don't have this. All those turtle figures are cool. Power Rangers always uh, have a great home in, in my house because of me and my and my son. But good Lord, guys, so much to go through. There's a lot of work here. Yes, 150 bucks. Uh, a lot of this stuff isn't worth much at all, but definitely, definitely one of the better deals I've gotten this year. Obviously an insane haul for only 150 bucks, but guys, there is so much work to do here, so much to clean, to test, and this video is already over 40 friggin' minutes long, so I will keep you guys updated, but for 150 bucks, uh, there is a lot, a lot of value here, guys. I will keep you guys updated. As always, thank you guys for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, if you are enjoying the $10 game collection challenge, also subscribe if you have not already, and until next time, peace.